How you doing folks, Tom Horton here, and today we're checking out Slender the Arrival. I apologize for the lack of streams this month, but I just had a couple, a couple lazy days, and um, I don't really have a lot more time because it's the last week of October, and Halloween's next Monday, so I'm really going to start cranking these games out, so the next few episodes may be a bit sporadic, but today I wanted to cover Slender the Arrival, just get rid of this. Thanks for explaining my cat. My name is here. All right. Uh, just wanted because I want to be because I want you guys to be able to see the game as well. Just so we can see shit. So, okay, let's um, head to options. Menu, look, interact, back, flashlight, focus flashlight. Okay. I don't think there's much needed to go on, so we'll go ahead and start. The okay, game is currently set to easy difficulty, the setting can be changed to any type of menu options. The foreclosure. Good reader tonight. So long, Mr. Retired. Rest in peace and love. Our love. Our affection. The bond that pulls us down the path is not one to show. And when you find yourself alone, as he casts you onto the I'd say pretty fucking far. So wait, is this on? I don't know if this is on easier than the hit cancel. Save the sale. Okay, yeah, so I don't think we really need to fuck around because I think we all know how this starts. This game's about like, uh, what is it, nine years old at this point? Yeah. All the big names like Markiplier, PewDiePie, it's all playing this shit. And I didn't start playing this until about a few years later, after the whole fucking Let's Play thing kicked off. Yeah, I'm just gonna head down this way. No point in pussyfooting around. Gonna get right to the house. <clears throat> you kind of already know the stuff here. I haven't played this game in forever, but I kind of already know about the stuff because this is one of those games that sticks right in your memory. Like, you never really forget your first time seeing this game here. Oh, Jesus. I remember hanging and playing on the swings of the cave when we were kids. She face planted so fucking hard that I laughed my ass off. Okay, good. If I remember correctly, things are in random places. For example, the flashlight. Okay. Apparently, the keys we need to What the fuck? Not supposed to be here yet, Mr. Slenderman. Combine slendy tits. Zero new messages. One old message. Hey, Kay. See you again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. It'll be good when Mark gets there to help you sell the house. Hi. A little load off your mind. Give me I can't hear you. The ominous yeah. music is playing too loud. Great, thanks, dickhead. Couldn't hear a goddamn word you were saying. What is this? Honoring the life of Beth Hayes. October 18th, 2009. Grace Hill Cemetery, 658 Everson Street, Pastor John Taylor. 
old Johnny Taylor was doing it. Here, box of cigars. I don't finish it. Slide A. It's Dr. Poopy nonsense. It's not time for the spooks yet. I know I might have candles lit, but god damn it. Hmm. And another. And try again. This sounds familiar. Does it? Master Pianist. Alright, first achievement out of the way. Until the first notes from No Friends is played. Alright. Phone line appears to be dead. I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Well, thanks a bunch, Kate. You're selling me a fucking... Haunted ass house with a slendy man outside. Who's too coward to show himself? Bitch. Alright, so we've already searched on the outside. We didn't check the garage yet. I didn't really check that far yet. Let's check what's out of here. Note. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear the Lauren's been doing really well, too. <laughs> well, too. <laughs> Sounding forward now. Sounding kind of doing well, too. <laughs> but yeah, about what we all said. I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? I had to go to the doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Well, alrighty then, Mr. CR. Hopefully you don't die horribly. Have Slendy Man eat your butt alive. Is he in the gay rage? In the gay rage? Right. So I assume what we need is upstairs. <clears throat> Not the downstairs. And apparently this is supposed to be a Blue Oyster Cult poster, which I remember in the original version of the game, but I guess they crossed that out because they didn't want to pay royalties. Smart decision. Picked up a key. And what if we do with said key? I do not know what to tell you. <clears throat> what we got going on here? Oh yeah, I forgot. The disappearing and reappearing bathroom tonics. The truly the spookiest part of this game. Fuck Slender Man and the other things going on here. We got disappearing and reappearing talcum powder, goddammit. Gold bond medicated ghost powder. tablet or something. Sure looks like it. So what exactly happened in this here house? Sure seems a suspicious. Couldn't tell you all rightly what the hell happened. Ash Landy. Oh. You're not the door, boy. Well then. Slendy? Are you killing kids out there again? Son of a bitch, I told you to knock that off. You 
fucking freak. Told you to suck dealing them kids. That ain't good for your mental health. Son of a bitch. You just don't know when to stop. It's just like taxes. Apparently somebody's getting busted the fuck up out there. And there's a fire truck apparently. Wonderful. Is there a note? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting all the notes exactly. Cause it's two and three so far. <coughs> Day A. Knock it off. AK. Both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do it the old fashioned way again. Glad we can meet up to talk things through. I agree with what the doctor said, too. There's an explanation for this stuff. The shared traumatic events sounds the most logical to me. That right, that night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I had almost completely blocked that out, but now it's kind of coming back to me. But like I said before, it's still really foggy. I think the best course of action right- Slenderman, I feel my controller vibrating. Stop fucking around out there. I think the best course of action right now is to just ignore it whenever you think you might be seeing things again. I'll try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. CR. P.S. You should <laughs> Fucking search my words. You should call Lauren sometime. I bet some company would help out. Sure, that would help out. Whatever, Bill. That was fun. I should probably find Kate. And there's another one. Fearless fun. Riding a slide in a horse. Why wouldn't we be? Alright, I guess we venture out into the wilderness once again. With no proof sign of civilization anywhere. Sweet fucking goodness. Oh god, why? I saw that! You fucking bastards! Uh, weird fucking creature standing there. Wait, what? This thing does not turn on, please. Thank you. That's fucking stop, asshole. Need your booty dance right now. Where the fuck am I even going? I don't like the twitchies. Because the twitchies mean there's something gonna be bad happening. Stop it! Asshole! Not in the mood for your shit! Although I should be because it's Halloween's next Monday. Why are, why are you going out? You fucking bitch. When I tell you to have the lights on, I mean I turn the lights on, you fuck. You're just a special case, aren't you? I stop it. How many times am I gonna tell you? You cocksucker. Jesus Christ. Don't even know where the fuck I'm going. house. That don't seem like a fun time.
can find a few pieces here. Find me, Lauren. Maybe I don't fucking want to. <laughs> he came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. He's a vampire, I tell you. Never let him in. That was a good ten minute long intro. Or rather, 15 minutes. <laughs> Progress saved in the scene selection menu. Of course it has been. And who closed that door? That's not kosher. Alright. And now the eight pages sequence begins. We're gonna get ourselves fucked up. As Uncle Roger put it, we gonna get fucked up. What in the actual... Excuse me. Mr. Fucking Butterflies. But stop that. Need your shit. Oakside Park Canoeing Rules. Personal flotation devices must be worn at all times while in the water. Do not cross the lines, floats, and designed swimming areas or designated swimming areas. Reflective gear should be worn if canoeing at night. Do not interact with any in all real life. PFD is available as a rental check. Cool. Yeah, I don't care about shit. So if I remember right, you don't need to necessarily get all eight pages on this. I think if you get to like six or seven, then it should be still be able to pass you. What the hell is this light flashing in my face? In the distance. Should be a page on this. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, fuck. Now it has begun. Now the pain begins. Uh-huh. Deary me. Now shit's about to get real. The fuck? I oh, don't know. I oh, don't know. There's a page. Do I eat so far? Good. Just getting nice and. Oh no! Stop your nonsense. Oh god, no. He's over there. See his head poking. Oh god, no. But oh, where is he? I don't see him. It's like over there somewhere. Knock off your butt sex, Lindy. I ain't got time for your shit. I don't think there's anything much over here, is there? There's just a bunch of lights everywhere. Let's tell what landmarks are. There's a van over here. And there's a page on the van. Three of eight. Wonder feel. There's a tower over there. There's probably a page on that. Aw, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, this Slender Man doesn't come by over the ridge. That'd be fucking fantastic. Is there a page over here? Yes, there is. Four of eight, halfway through. Yay. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, I see you over there, you fuck. You ain't getting my ass today. You beat the shit. I see you creeping. Don't you be creeping. You fucker. Hey, hey no. I see you. That's all. Don't eat your shit. Don't eat your shit. Stop 
Oh, tree. Stop. Ugh. We got four pages of these. We're just halfway through. Halfway through. Halfway through. Oh, the building. Yes, there's gotta be something here. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You fucker, why are you waiting right there for the building for me? God damn it. Let me the build. No, trees. Fucker. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's gotta be some kind of pages in here. If he traps me in this fucking building, I swear to Christ. No pages in here. Goodness. Anything in this room? No. Fuck. Slide A, don't you trap me in here. I swear to God. Anything in this room? No. Fuck. Let's get into these rooms. Oh no, the bathrooms. Ah, there's one. Wonder feel. Can't run. I argue I very much can run. Thank you, game. Okay. Anything about the desk over here? No. Anything below? <laughs> Nope. And it's like he's gonna be right off fucking side of the door. Cause he's gonna be a bastard like that. Yep, there he is. Not today, you fuck. Get the hell out of here. Oh, hey, how you doing? Little shit. Alrighty. Do a little check around to see if there's anything around the building. No. Alright, I guess there's only a note there. Nope, it's day I see you in the distance, you piece of shit. Is there one on the rocks? Is there one out in the boulders? Nothing. Fuck you. Tall bitch. Alright. Just gotta go somewhere. Or he won't see me. Fuck off, will ya? Jeez. I got five out of eight so far, you prick. Come on, gonna be scrubboard unripped. Is this another vehicle? Or is this the same one that I got? I think this might be the same one I got, just in case. Yes, same one I got. Okay, I saw the tower here, and there's Slenderman being a bitch again. No, stop it. Stop it, you silly. You silly Billy. I don't need your shit. I believe there's some sort of hill area that I missed, because he was either by that or... Follow the light to slander. Slander. Stop it. Stop your shit. Stop your shit. God damn it, you're freezing up my game. Knock it off. Oh. Oh, you're right there. Shit. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up now. Oh, stay on, boy. Dinguses. Uh, this tree? No. We already got the one of those over here. Slendy! How you fucking feel? Oh god. Duh. Now he's just toying with me. Now he's just being a little bitch. Now he's just being a little fuck. He's coming on every angle now. He's like, oh, over here? No, over there? We're up on your ass soon, buddy boy. Just be a dick now. Just be a little dick. Now, stop it. Alright, so 
So I went that way last time towards the building. Let's go up here and see if Slenderman's not on our butt. God damn it! Stop with your shit. I'm trying to succeed, Mr. Sir. Just walk away. Oh god, fuck you. Seriously. Ah, over here, yes. Should be a note right here. There we go. Six and eight. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, now he's getting way more aggressive. We have to tr at least try to get all eight pages. Oh god, no. Don't be. Hey, fucking mop head. See what you're doing to me, Slender Man, to make me turn British over here. You're making me turn British. I'm back in the water tower again. What the fuck? I don't need to be back over here. I need to find some other shit. Guy, no, I don't need your fucking egghead over here. Oh! Don't need you. Piece of shit. Go away. Freak. Let's go north of the. Oh my god, I'm going to fucking kill you. Hopefully, before you kill me. You're extremely fucking annoying. Back at the building again, god damn it. He's gonna be right over here, he's gonna be a little bitch. Okay, so we already explored that. Okay, fuck you. I went that way. Is there anything past this hill that we didn't explore? Perhaps. Oh, I see a red flare. That could be another page, aww. Page on the boat, page on the boat. Anything? Ah, seven of eight, wonderful. We see one more. Perfect. But I don't know where that could possibly be. There's gotta be one more up here. Come on, Schmundy boy, don't fuck me up now. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is that? There's a red flare in there. You fucker, I need that. Fucking bitch, go away. Get out of here. Piece of shit. I know there's one on this fucking tent. Eight, eight out of eight. Yes, we got them all. Wonderful. Ah. And now Slender Man's gonna come up on our butt. Go, babe. Yep, there he is. It's supposed to see him. To a tragic arson incident that stunned the community, many outside residents reported the purpose, purported victim on the play acting strange. And I couldn't read most of that. But hey, we managed to actually get all eight pages that time. Usually, I never get all eight pages. Now it's broad daylight. <laughs> Got ourselves a guard nest. It's all boarded up. Wonderful. What is this? What is this? Six. I tried to find my way back to you when I tripped and fell down that slope. When my flashlight hit one of the rocks down there and broke. 
It was pitch black. I heard sounds all around me. Screaming. It sounded like you. I tried to follow it back, but I was lost. I fell. Everything collapsed down around me. I could feel it crushing me. Everything was moving so fast. I was drowning in water I couldn't see. Every fear I've ever had came back to me at once. Monsters surrounded me. My stomach inverted, my sh eyes shriveled out of existence, and my heart caved in. I don't know what happened after that. I woke up in some tall grass today and found my way back to the house. I looked through the window and saw you sitting on the couch, staring at your TV. I couldn't get your attention, so I left. I can't read anymore. I, need, I can't think straight. I need to calm a little bit. Attention all employees, after the closing this Sunday, your paychecks will be mailed to your home address that we have on file for you. Please see Jessica in the office if you have changed your address recently, otherwise you will not be able to receive your final paycheck. We would like to thank all of you for your many years of dedicated service to Coleman Mining and wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Yeah, that's what they all say. That's what they all say, Bill. What might be this? Have you seen this child, Charlie Matheson Jr.? No, I don't believe I have. I don't believe I want to. Oh dear. Okay, now it's getting awfully dark. Let's see, we could go the whole way without fucking using a flashlight, but no, it started getting darker and I got afraid. <clears throat> Coleman Mining in the, in the event of sudden power loss. All employees must be removed from the mines via emergency lift as soon as possible. To power the lifts, please activate the emergency aid generators throughout the ground level of the complex. Six generators are the minimum required to power the lift at full capacity. Please see your supervisor if you need help locating them. <coughs> Sorry, my fucking throat was getting all bubbly. There's the exit, but let's see what we got going on here. Local Park sells land to Coleman Mining Co. Oakside Park has come to an agreement with Coleman Mining Company regarding its acquisition of mineral rights for one of the state-owned park's mountains. President of Coleman Mining, James Walter, said he's glad the deal has gone through and that he couldn't be happier for the opportunities this new location will provide the company and the community. Sure thing there. View the later time from the main menu. Sure thing there, Bill. Not that I'm ever going to view the main menu, but whatever. Gee, I wonder where those arrows want me to go. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Wonderful. Get to the tower. Alright. Guess we're starting some shit up. This part entails. Gonna be a little gremlin freak running after us. Mm. We're running around somewhere. You fucking freak. Think about it. Come from somewhere. I ain't gonna like it. Number three. Turn the fucking corner. Be right goddamn behind me. No, where the hell is he? No. 
know he's gonna come from somewhere. Fucking prick. Oh, there he is. Yeah, fuck you. He was gonna come from somewhere. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Piece of shit. Oh, flash in the rear, in the rear, flash in the rear. Still behind me. Fucking bastard. That's all. Need two more. Watch. There's one now. I see you running. That's all. Oh, fuck. I was already here, wasn't I? Freak's gonna be somewhere around this corner. I nah, ain't gonna like it. Oh, fuck over here. Damn it. Oh, you ran this way. So that fucker's gonna run around here, isn't he? Been through here yet? Fuck, I'm going around in circles. Stop it. Fucker. Fuck off, oh, yeah. Fuck, where am I going? Shit. Are you gonna get me? Fuck off, oh, yeah. Still there. Fuck off out of here. Freak. Okay, gotta go over here. God damn it. No. Help me. Piece of shit. Oh, hi, Slender. How you doing? I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, you on run, you little freak. I got shit to do. You fuck off, dude. one up this way. Last one's gotta be up here. Otherwise I don't know what the hell. You're gonna be right up here, aren't you? Yeah, bitch. No, stop it, Slender. Thank you for doing that. Just need to find that last generator. 
which I assume has to be down here. But there's no other places that I've looked so far that could be. I gotta be able to find it before that little witch comes by again. Little thing, whatever the hell it is. Damn it, I was already here. Jesus. Don't need shit. Come on, there's one more generator I need. Where could the possible last generator be? Last one's in here. Got it. No. Yeah, fuck off you. Little prick. Ha 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 ha. What are you gonna do about a bitch? Fucking prick. Uh, why did he have to stand right fucking there, man? Mm. Nah, I retry. Asshole. Now they're going to be random locations again. And I don't very much like that. Let's try down here. Actually, we've already tried down here. Cause from the Ooh, two in the same location. That's some neat. Two, three. Already a good roll. That means little bitch boys are running around somewhere. I hear you drowning. Little freak. Wanna come around this bend? Hey, you little bitch. Eh? Wanna fucking try me? Yeah, I see you running. I see you running, boy. Yeah, how about you get a little bit of this? Freak. A little more of this. Oop, the generator. Ah. That's four. I'm making good headway, boy. You better find some way to kill me. Oh god, Slender. No. I don't mean you. I never need you. One down over here. I didn't get to do the thing. No. Over here. Gotta find a red light somewhere. Area. Oh, pitch point 
come on. Hey, what did I just say? Yes, oh. You almost caught me with my pants down. Little freak. Generator. Nice. Take it back to four little bitch boy. Little slender. Neither one of the two is good. No, slender, I told you not to fucking be there. You little shit sack. I gotta run all the way back around just because your stupid ass is gonna be there. Fuck me over now. I already have all six generators. Do not screw me over again. You pieces of shit. I'm by the elevator. You cannot fucking stop me now. Fucking pricks. Got it. I done dudes it. Suck that poon a little bit harder, why don't you? Alrighty. You've done it right. Right in proper sunny gym. Alrighty. So that's that segment passed. Only a little bit of problems, but that's fine. <clears throat> How do we escape that bullshit? My battery's kind of going out. I believe we're at the halfway point of the game now. I believe it, so. You're supposed to find all their notes. I don't know. Never figured that out. Anyway, Kate, leaving this note in case you wake up tonight. I'm going to assume you don't remember what happened. I came over to check on you and found you out in that park behind the house. You had a broken video camera with you and a bag full of weird drawings. I don't know what happened out there, but you're safe now. The doctors here will help you. So this CR guy. Is it supposed to be like we're dreaming all this or something like we're dreaming walking around and we're actually in a hospital or something or just some sort of psycho crazy bonkers bitch but or is all this actually happening because I don't rightly really know I do know there's supposed to be a teddy bear thingy somewhere around here little teddy bear level Charlie, lunch in 
One, two, five. Oh, goodness. Okay, pick any of these things up. Now we're located. Oh, there's something shiny over here. You don't have a flashlight. Shit. So I just go around uh, collecting light stuffs, shiny bits. Uh, what the hell it is? Huh? What is that? I hear dinging. And when I hear dinging, that means luncheon. Try not to mod. God. You never listen. <laughs> you have no faith in me whatsoever. <laughs> How's your little boy supposed to grow if he doesn't have any fucking independence? What's all we picking up here? Like little coin slots? What is that? It's like pieces of a train? Oh, that one's grabbing. There's another one over there. Well, I could find you, Ma. Oh dear. I've gone ma. I'm in some sort of weird foggy woods. Uh, yes, ma. I don't think it should be very chill for right now. These woods are very scary. You should probably be showing some kind of concern. Oh, goodness. You're still not really taking this whole seriously here, woman. I could die out here just by ramming my head into one of these branches. Oh goodness, now the dad's getting involved. Oh no. Oh dear, those are tentacles, those are bad. I need to get up. Fuck out of here. Oh no, no, get away from your tentacles. Ah shit. Ah shit, ah shit, ah shit, ah. Ah shit. Ah shit. Yep. Charlie's dead. He fucking dead. Sad to say, but he's fucking dead. Well, that was certainly fun and interesting. I can't click on it again. Wonderful. <laughs> Now that that's over and done with, I suppose we gotta walk our way up this little pathway here. How you doing, Crazy Lucas? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. stream. Why, thank you, sir. I do try to make these as good as possible. And apparently this person wants to die so badly they wrote a bunch of times on the paper. Wonderful. There it is. Outside. I need to die before it catches me. I'm sorry for any part that's my fault. Everything is leaking out the back of my head. Hands have teeth. Do my hands have teeth? I don't think so. <laughs> Please tell no one I love them. It's back now. Hide. Who's back? Shady? I don't think we can hide from him. Kate, I've been doing some digging and came across an old plot of land that belonged to the Matheson family a ways back. 
Charles was known to take his wife, Diane, and his son, Charlie, to the old homestead for family picnics. And then his son, reportedly, died from tentacles. I hate to break it to you, but that's just how it is. Hentai kills. That's the lesson you need to take from the stream. Hentai kills. <laughs> I never imagined what I would see there. I think Charlie may have seen something. Something he was never meant to see. Again, hentai kills. <laughs> it closes a recording of my findings and some documents I came across. We're dealing with something dark here, Kate. Something I can't explain. Need to play TV3 talk first. Fuck. That's a dumb rule. Can't pick up multiple tapes at the same time, you bitch. Uh, established in 1881, the trading post along the Rocky Mountain Trail. Oakside has become a locator by then. Can I read the loading screens? The date is September 19th. My name is CR, on site of the Matheson family farm. Continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. It certainly couldn't have been giant black tentacles killing him. He, he really couldn't have disappeared from that. That's just stupid. Charlie. All those kids are Charlie, apparently. What is that I'm meant to do in here? Some kind of urns and pots over here. Ah, winch. There we go. Almost want to miss that. Hold on, before we go in there. Check what's over here. Bunch of chains. A bit scared to walk down that path, so. Don't want to go into that crazy shit. Generators out of fuel. Shit. All wheat and barley should be stored in the subterranean cellar for cold storage. Wheat can be stored at night. Oh god, we have to go back that way, don't we? Fuck, we gotta go this way. So we can turn on fuel. Shit. Okay, let's do the state of the path, which should be fine. Just don't deviate too far. From the path. Let's get through as quick as possible, just like a band aid. Okay, chapel. Gotta go to the cellar. Get the gas. Still good, do good. Stomping in the fucking grass. Don't give a hell about nothing. Spaces are never a good. Son. God damn it! Don't do that to me, please. Oh no! Nope, not going towards you. Okay. Gas canister in the inventory. I right, fucking stop. I don't like this area at all. Jesus Christ! No! Stop it! No! Stop it! No! Why are you still there? Asshole. I never just book the stories, I don't give a shit. God damn it. Uh why? <laughs> don't like it. Stop running! You asshole. I don't like you. Get out of here, please. Get out of here, please. Get out of here, please. 
Uh, God. Why? Okay, I think we got all the gas we need. Just go back on the path. Back to this place. Get the hell out of here. Going to the wheat. I know if we go into the wheat, then that'll be a bad fucking sign. Just go back to the cornfields. Turn on the power. I hear all sorts of noises. Ugh. You see, hello neighbor. This is how you do suspense right. This is how you fucking do it. I've tested up more in this fucking playthrough than that game. here. What is this? A picture? Great. Don't want to see it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait for stuff. Is there anything I need? Anything over by here? Can't even get up there. Oh, there's some. Gate key. Wonderful. That's something that's always useful. Look in here. Oh. Mm, boy. Oh, dearie me. Do I dare step on here? These ancient burial grounds. Don't tell me I gotta go all the way back around. I don't want to go all the way back around. It's scary out there. It's all sorts of scary. God damn it. Uh, I guess we have no choice in the matter. We gotta go back. Fuck. Stop with your crackliness. Not going in that fucking room. Shit. Ugh, shit. God damn it. I hold on. A little tense stuff, gotta search it out. God damn it. This one can go. Nowhere to go but forward. Fuck my life. Just stay on the path. Just stay on the path and don't stray off from any part of anything. Yes, bells, I hear you. Shut your fucking face. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I don't fucking care. Get to that chapel. You're running. Get the hell out of here. To the chapel. Open that gate. Look at He's like right behind me. No turning back now. Get to the gate. Get to the fucking gate. Man, you fucker. I don't even care what's over there. Me and you bastards. I seek only 
salvation for myself and my family for the salvation of the owl. Don't care. Oh, I hate it. Well, little baby Santa, touch your toys. You fucking bitch. I don't know. What am I meant to do up here? Close the door somehow. What am I doing up here? Okay. What does any of this mean? That ain't kosher. That is indeed not very kosher. Okay, well. Now we've got this one. Now we just see what the hell this one's all about. This one we gotta close up all the windows and doors. And we gotta be quick about this too. Shit. severe brain damage in the process. Shit. Uh, so... <sighs> Alright, well. Let's open this open. But I believe there's only one more part we gotta do now. That is to go up to the tower. Gotta scale up this giant fucking mountain. 
and do some business. Hey. Excuse me. The house had to go. You can't save me anymore. I imagine I couldn't save anybody. Street in the hour. I left a list of things to bring with you. Leave everything else behind. I'll explain everything as soon as I see you. I know how to fix all this. Don't tell Lauren about me. That damn it. Damn it, my phone's gone offline. To leave this over here now. Sorry about that, my phone just went offline. So I was trying to watch the stream. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. This isn't your fault. I did this. By the time you read this, it's already too late for you. Don't let him into any more lives. This is all my fault. This can end with you. I let him in. Why did I ever let him in? Why did he trip me with those Girl Scout cookies? God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry for placing this burden on you. I wish it was all on me. This can't spread any further. Much like men. They can't be spreading any further than they already have. <laughs> Please, it all has to end with you. I wish there was some other way. That didn't involve death, but I'm a fucking sociopath, so it has to be this way. It has to end. God forgive me. Yeah, if you say so, buddy. I, mean, I can give two shits less about you one way or the other, but... I mean, I'll just... I'll play along for a good joke. Oh good, now everything is on fire. That's just beautiful. That shot sounds like one of them. Are you gonna catch me put my pants down? Oh god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Oh. Little burns on the toesies, but that's fine. Don't give a fuck about that. Just keep on going. Don't give a fuck. Tower's right up there. That's right, that's right. Sprinting through, boy. Sprinting through, boy. Sprinting through, boy. Made it up here in record time. I'm only slightly bruised. Don't give a fuck about it. Alright, is there any kind of key in here? Boxes. Boxes! No. There's a note though. Don't care about that. Key, key, anywhere, key. There's your fucking key. There it is. Put a fucking key. Actually, I should probably turn the. That looks a little bit better. There we go. That nah, looks a little better. Failed. Let's go! 
Yeah, he did. He's big time dead. Oh, yeah. I think we're about to be too. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. Maybe we're not dead. Oh, fuck. Where in God's name are we at now? Oh, hey, how you doing? Good boy. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's still in there. Good boy. <laughs> Send it through the air. Good boy. Shit. I got there. Good boy. Send it through the ceiling, boy. Right through the ceiling. Good boy. Do it again. Ah, uh, you want to do it again? Okay, fine. I just gotta read the book first. You barely even read it. Now will you leave? No, I gotta find something else. God damn it. It's gonna be the fucking gatekeeper of the bridge over there. Another note. Thing. You fucking CR. Done with your shit. Oh, now he's gone. That's great. So I had to pick up notes first for the fucking. Fuck off. Oh, boo hoo yourself, you piece of shit. Crazy fucker trying to kill me. Now you expect me to sympathize with you? Who do you think you are, Steven Universe? Real estate? Oh, I guess. Alright, okay, cool. Yep, now we're dead. That little bitch clawed her face off. Alrighty. Anything else after that? Nope. Okay. Well, I do believe that is the end of the game. Yes, indeed, Andy. Only an hour and a half. Managed to beat a game in one sitting. Based on the character Sunk of Man, created by Eric Victor Serge Knudsen. And all these fucking people. Mark Hadley, of course, is on the team. Glenn Eggleton. We just purchased the sale to our fun producers. We'd like to help support dedication. Independent game development would not be what it is today. Thank you. Well, shit. Alright, so that is all of that there. I wonder if Markiplier's name is going to be on here because he was like one of the big guys that was on. That was like helping promote this game. I just want to see. Jamie and Sam Bennett, Robbie Burns, Magnus Evil, that's a fucking great name, uh, Jackie Scroggs, uh, Quaid McDonald, Mark Blood's name's gotta be on here, so, right? We couldn't just leave him out of this. 
Because that was like a big thing before Five Nights at Freddy's came out. It's like all the Slender games and whatnot. Travis Cog Bill. <laughs> Space Base. Findlay Cleghorn. Ah, uh, fucking geese outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's just geese out outside my fucking window right now. Really, no mention of Mark anywhere. There's a lot of other Marks, but no Mark Fishbach or anything. All right, well, Eric Minutes. <laughs> How the hell you come up with a name like that? Uh, weird. All right, I guess they didn't really acknowledge Markiplier all that much. Try a hardcore difficulty if you haven't already. Uh, no, thank you. I will not be doing that <laughs> because uh, I am not interested in being fucking slide around. The horror has only just begun. Hardcore difficulty is now unlocked and a new level is now available from the stage selection menu. Uh, escape, Homestead, The Arrival. Genesis. Hmm. Let's try Genesis before we end the stream here. Let's see how the hell this works out. Ah, so this is like the original eight pages, I see. Alright, let's see if we can get all the eight pages on this level here. We managed to do it the first time, so... Let's see if we do it this time around. Anything on the big tree? Yeah. So they basically just remade the original Slender game from scratch. I forgot they did this. Anything on the truck? This side of the truck, no. Is it on the building? Ah, oh, there's one. Nice. Now it starts. There's that building. Oh, hell. Hey, how you doing? Fuck off a little bit, don't you? Oh, you're over there. Alright, well. Chair. What are you doing, chair? What are you doing? <laughs> God, I miss the old PewDiePie style of stuff. I know he said recently that a lot of that shit was just faked. Like, he said himself that he just faked a lot of that shit, but it was still good, man. It was like, a lot of people gave it shit because he just kept screaming a whole bunch and people just like... You know, like, generalized Let's Players to just be those kinds of things, which is why I kind of hated being in the Let's Players thing, because I would get categorized as being, like, one of those shouty guys, but Let's Plays were just fun back then, man. Like, people knew how to have fun then. Now everything's all sanitized and shit. It's just everything has to be all family-friendly now. It's like... I never fucking cared for that, man. I never cared for being family-friendly, because that's not fun. You know, being family friendly all the time, 24-7, is not a fun thing to be. You know, just being a fucking corporate crony. <laughs> just, just not having fun with yourself. Like, if your natural self is being, like, swearing and such, if, you let, if your natural self includes, like, foul language, then you should be free to express that in any way you want to. You shouldn't have to be forced to appeal to a demographic you don't want. Like, I don't necessarily want younger kids watching my stuff because I know it's not suited for them. I know that I am not good for young children, yet the algorithm tries to force everybody to be like that. Like, I don't want that. I want to be my own man. I want to be my own kind of channel here. For And if ch ch children do happen to come by to the channel, I hope that they realize that it's not the right place for them. Or at least they have their parents around to help steer them in the right direction. 
because see when I'm around children I do try to do that like I have a four year old niece so I try not to swear around too much because you know she's at that age where she's starting to form her own sentences and like you know, start to speak more clearly and I don't really want her having that kind of language in school because I know that she's going to get in trouble for that because they like to monitor everything nowadays and god damn it slender money still buy me but when it comes to my own sort of um sort of area here I like to have my own kind of vibe here like um, I like to be loud and swearing and such that's just what I like to well not really loud per se because I don't really like to shout as much as all the other YouTubers do because I hate that shit too where they just like shout for no fucking reason at least with people like PewDiePie and Markiplier they're actually like genuinely afraid of some of the things they're playing not everything but like some of the things you could tell they were like genuinely afraid of the shit they were playing, so. You know, there's that. But everybody else who tries to copy that forgets that you need to actually know what the fuck you're doing instead of just being a copycat. Just being a faceless copycat of other fucking people. But unfortunately, that seems to be unavoidable because there's not really a whole lot new you can do with this format. I don't know why this conversation took this such a weird turn about Let's Play and whatnot, but it is just taking a little trip back to 2013 and like where the bar was set for content back then. Granted, it was pretty low, but it worked. You know, people like PewDiePie and Markiplier and fucking even Toby Turner when he was doing this stuff, he managed to fucking do the shit just right. I think PewDiePie got like a, what the hell is it called, King of the Web or something like that? Very early on, oh shit. No, Slender. I have plans for you. Oh dear. Alright, well we got six out of eight pages there. We went on a weird tangent about YouTube content, but, yeah. That's all I'm going to be doing for this here. We beat the game, we've tried out the Genesis level. I know there's a hardcore difficulty. I'm not gonna fucking do it. Like, if you really want to watch Markiplier's old series on it, he does a shit a lot funnier than I ever could. <laughs> Especially since he played the original version of this game before it got updated a bunch. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little tread back to where YouTube was back then. You know, it's a little trail back to um, older content and such. Actually, speaking of which, we're going to go on ahead and try a little bit of amnesia to sort of go on a little bit here. Just edit the tab on this. Okay, so we've got Dark Descent, Justine, and a Machine for Pigs. And goddamn, I'm gonna take the screen screen again. Freezing up. Asshole. Come on, you fuck. Jesus Christ, what is this not doing?
doing, stream? Why? Stop freezing, asshole. something. God fucking damn it. Okay, now it seems to be working. Jesus. Alright. So now we go into the Dark Descent. Game features auto saving. Of course it does. This was another big YouTube hit before Slender. This is like three years prior, I think. Or about two years. Of course, sign in. Welcome to Amnesia the Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Okay. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. When you want to leave the game, just choose save and exit. You can then use continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game. All right. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place and you're extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. All right. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control below to do so, adjust until the square at the right is barely visible. Okay. I think that's pretty good. That is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of amnesia, frictional games. Will do! I've already got some candle lights over here, so I say I'm already set. Okay, show subtitles, hints, death hints, I don't think we need that. Commentary. I'm already doing plenty of commentary here, what are you talking about? Sound. Take that out just a little bit. Are you serious? It's coming frames of Stop doing that, please. Okay. Do that. Oh, good. I can't even fucking read that. It's way fucking small. <laughs> That's great. The way the game was designed to be played. Enemies will spot you more easily. Tinder boxes and oil are harder to come by. Autosave is disabled and saving your game costs tinder boxes. Losing your sanity will kill you. Let's just stick on normal, shall we? <laughs> I don't think we want to use up tinder boxes for saving. Let's just uh, go into it normally and not have a weird Resident Evil esque typewriter situation when we're saving. Let's just not do that. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? Mayfair. This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Covered that. We already got that your name is Daniel. What are your special skills for the job? Let's go ahead and fill us on some little details. No oh dearie me. Okay. 
very leaky roof we've got going on here. Window's been added to the journal. Yeah. Follow the trail and find its source. Diaries. So we have nothing. Wonderful. Okay, so the leaning depends on it hit the left stick there, left stick there, okay. Now I'm starting to understand it. Oh, goodness. oh dear. Oh dear, now I'm going crazy. Oh shit. Ah, God. Oh no. Oh hell. What is that? Don't you even try to fuck with me. Crazy bastards. I would pick up things again. Oh, right trigger. Tinder boxes use like candles and other light stores in the environment. The current number of tinder boxes is shown in inventory. Nice. Well, I'll be sure to use these wisely and not spend them like a madman. I forgot this game has a weird way of opening doors. Tinder box. Tinder box. Dear me. Here we are. And apparently, this game is big about staying in the light as well. Because in the darkness, shit can get pretty real. Alright, I'm light up the candles in this area, I guess. We already got candles lit. Oh shit. What is this? What is this? Daniel, please. Daniel! What are you doing? What are you doing, Daniel? Shut up, Daniel! You're just a fucking stone. God. Mr. Chair! What are you doing here? Hello, beauty. What? I'm not beauty. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, can you actually, like, throw these things or something? Oh, left bumper to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> I dust you, Mr. Chair. Hello, beauty. You just dust my brother. Shut up, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair's brother. This whole stream is going to be me quoting old PewDiePie shit. <laughs> Did I not turn the volume down on my fucking... Alright. Heard a little bit of my stream in here. Is there anything I needed in this area? Oh, fucking. Can I light the thing? Torches? Did you see that, Mr. Chair? That was fucking crazy. Shut up, Mr. Chair. Anyway. I'll try not to make the whole stream just be quoting pretty fine, but it's kind of hard not to because it's like. Again, with this, with these kinds of games back then, they were just like fucking dominating this shit. They were everywhere, man. Traveling to Dover, mean getting going to Canterbury, he made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. Who are we talking about? Some kind of lore shit that I don't really know about. Oh dear. Witnessing unsettling events will lose your sanity. You can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Good. That's nice to know. He's got the night vision. Fuck off, box. Physics. Physics! Oh, that was not where I wanted to throw it. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't go crazy on me now, Daniel. Got two tinder boxes here. Okay, okay, where am I? Can I line up anything? Please. Is there just nothing? Assholes. Are there any candles to light? I have three tinder boxes. Okay, go to the go to the thing. Stand in the light. Here we go. Here you go, buddy. Take your crazy medicine. Is there a candle though? Oh, my goodness. Oh my damn, what is this? Get this shit out of here. I don't read. Hey, there's a tinder box and a chest. Not gonna actually have a fucking candle to light it with. Or he's gonna be a dickhead and not give me any sort of light sources. I guess it's gonna be the opposite. Won't open, it's locked. There's gotta be a key somewhere. Great. Books. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Give me this book over here. Get the fuck out of here. Where doth may I find this key? Oh, there's a candle. God damn. Damn it. Oh, let me pick it up. Yeah. Where is the key? Damn it, I don't need a fucking book. I need a key, damn it. Big enough to knock the door down. Yeah, it sounds kosher. Bust that shit down. And bust that shit down. And bust that shit down. Damn it. Come on. Gotta be something. Can you stop chattering my ear for one second? Oh, god damn it. There's a key right here. No. Well then what the fuck? Okay, like that. Me good chair. Open a fucking door, chair. It's uh, a key right here. It's a key underneath where I fucking lit the thing. No. There is the key. What's tell me it's on top of them. Barely see over there. It's on top of the little fucking shelf. Skip friends, what are you talking about? Why? God fucking damn it.
Oh fuck, I don't know where the key's at. I see a book. Get underneath here or something. It's underneath the fucking bookshelf. It's up here. This thing. Oh, is it by the potted plant? Oh, it's not fucking anywhere. Right. I wonder if I. No, hold on. Notes. Diary of Mementos. Book. 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 The hell is that key? Can I pick up one of these rocks and... What do you mean, get frames, you fucking... Bitch nugget. Jesus Christ. Stupid things fuck with me again. Just telling me. No goddamn skid frames. It's like the fucking Call of Cthulhu stream all over again. Back in here. Is that one of these shelves I just missed? Is it behind here? No. Where the fuck is it? It has to be somewhere. There's no skip frames, you stupid fuck. Stop telling me that stream labs. God damn it. I honestly have no clue where the fucking key could be. It's by this book. The fucking trail stops. Oh. Pick up lantern. Oh, now the door's open. Okay, I had to find a lantern first. What the hell? Fuck you, game! Also, fuck you, chair. Getting them away. There can't be too wasteful of a lantern, though.
Magos. Hmm. I know we can put in here. We can put in some literature. No, I said we can put in some literature. Burn that book up nice and proper. Okay, apparently this book's in a struggle. There we go. Nobody needs to read. What are you talking about? Oh dear. Thank you August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. Right. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. Will he not? One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Of course. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, shit. Why don't I ever write? I didn't need to write nothing. Oh, good beer. All right, well, now I found a trail. Not sure what I'm meant to do now. Do I just go off and fuck some bitches? Everything in my mementos. No mementos are available. No. Daniel, note to sell. Fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones of the consulate, consulate in Constantinople. Well, this place has certainly seen better reconstructions. There's goddamn rose petals. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Well, I guess we're just fucked then, aren't we? More oil. Another tinder box. Another tinder box. More oil. Yay. They're being very generous with oil now. Can I go here? Well, all right then. Then 
Memento Diaries. Notes. Guess I can't go that way. I guess I don't have to go there. Laboratory. Got uh, wine cellar. That was the inner sanctum. What the hell? What the hell? Is that a lady crying or some sort of badger? I actually have to go to the bathroom right quick, so, um, yeah, no, not, not really surprising. But yeah, I'll be right back, uh, talking with yourselves. It'll be just uh, a couple minutes.
we are now back. And I'm unsure where to go first. We already have that blocked off way. We've got the archives over here. I guess we can just walk to. The door slammed shut behind them, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor of Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London. It seemed appropriate somehow. Yes, well. Sometimes the most appropriate stuff can be the most disconcerting. Although not very much interesting. Just, just the camera. I never know how to adjust my camera in this fucking these streams. Libri Libri Rari. Assume that's your fancy way of saying a library. You fucker. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition. Later that evening, tomorrow. Actually, hold on. Can I turn that voice off? There's no hints. Graphics, input, sound. Focus icon style, defaults. Show hints. No, I cannot do that. So I guess we have to... I wanted to read this myself, but... Oh, I guess we can just do this. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location of these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hinan, the mother of us all. <clears throat> An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help but feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered this, the others to clear the way, late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So I guess it just automatically has dialogue for those things there. But I don't want to listen to people, I actually want to read shit. Stefano! We found him! Holy shit, we found Stefano, how have you been, man? I know Pewds isn't here, but... I'm good to keep you company. That is beauty. I don't know where people is at, man. He hasn't played Amnesia in years. He's kind of, um... It's not exactly 2010 anymore. Or, we're not in the 2010s anymore. We're in the 2020s where people are talking about Fortnite. What the fuck is Fortnite? I don't know, man. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. But you just stay there. <laughs> just don't try to think about that stuff too much. <laughs> It'll rot your brain. Catalogy. Oh, this is one. God damn it, quick protecting frames. Fuck. God damn it. Only for the skipping frames. Get the lantern. Come on, stream. A good boy. Okay, he's going now. You sell your shit. Fucking go without you being a bitch. Please. Okay, ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Alright, well. There goes all 
my oil. Right. Tinder box. Let's just use the tinder boxes, because those seem pretty expendable. I hereby order my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Well, Mr. House of Garrick, I didn't think you might be disappointed in your choices here. Take it here. Fuck off, Mr. Chair. Why you hurt me? Tinder box. Give me that tinder box. Is there a tinder box anywhere? Are you fucking kidding me? Always with the skipping frames. Why? Mm. Work properly, game or stream. Cheaper's Christmas. Fuck off, Mr. Chair. It's good they just write it out normally there. Okay, it's importante we should know about this. Let's turn that on. Just a bunch of shirts. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. God damn it. Another note. 17th of May. I was drunk. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into some into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way to the underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. And God damn it, the stinky stupid frames. Please just work with me, stream. Why do you have to keep being a bitch? Streams are even skipping frames. What the hell are you talking about? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Despite their unearthly quality, the walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. What a nice way to get for being a stupid poop. Fuck off, chair. Oh, dearies. Definitely like that shit up. Boom. Oh, no. I done broke it. <laughs> I done made bad things happen. This old tone. Old Toby? Oh goodness, hey. Give me that. Get the tinder boxes all loaded up. Once over a Bunch of fucking books. Books never did nobody no good know how. There's a 
Nothing. Won't open. It's locked. Close contract. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Fucking maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Bill. And the Piana. Let me find that Piana. What are that waste oil? I can't even put a goddamn piana. I can put the piana in front of the arrival, goddammit. I'm gonna play no pianas down here. Okay, so that's. Come charging out at me. Oh, I can see a tree out there. Do we ever go outside? In Amnesia? Nice non moving trees. Can I bust the window and get the fuck out of here? Nope. Let me out! Fuck. Buckshin in the fireplace. No. Of course there's not. Strictly blood stuff, some thing. More oil. Thank you all. Oh, thank you all. Pianas that I cannot play. Tinder boxes. Well, that's not a good. What are these rolls of paper in here? I don't need that. I need a fucking tinder box. Fine. That's whole. Crazy again. God fucking damn it. No. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, really? My weakened body was heavy to carry. But I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Nice. So that's just all my memories and such. Just reliving my memories. If I ain't got a woman, I'm gonna pick up a rock. <laughs> Bam! Ah. But hang on, though. What is this? Floor plans. Okay. Apparently, floor plans translates to. Delicatessen, imagine the tablet. Just buying time anyway. 
Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get here. the servants working on it. Don't get in it, fuck, stop. Please. The flashing light is just not very pleasant. God damn it, every time the fucking blinding light. Uh. You have to be swift when you activate God. the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. all these things here. I guess I was already broken. Fine. Altstad Vrennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Vrennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists in the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their talent... Their tainted souls, not talented souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. Hmm. Yeah, they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambitions to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragging, them, dragging behind them, or dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he... Fortnight? What the hell? God damn it. As he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, need a drink. <clears throat> a lot of reading in this one. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of these noble, like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history revealed a little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the. Bleh, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region, but it flourished and remained popular throughout the presumed lifetime. His presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Well, goddamn, this guy gets around, doesn't he? Oh, oh is this like a puzzle or something? Oop. I'm making headways. Where's the last one? Ooh. Be the last one. No. Oh, 
what the time thing. Here we go. There we go. Don't know why it didn't work the first time. Because I pulled in the wrong order. Whatever, Bill. Internal message, doof. You got wine cellar key. Hello. What was that? I missed something. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Sure it would, Bill. Always gonna solve all your problems with wine. Why wouldn't you? We can light the fire in here. How lovely. Oh no. Now this door's open. Oh goodness. Oh, this is the way. Ew. Oh, dear. I don't think I should be back in that area. I think we've gotten all we needed to out of this area, so let's just head back. Ah, fuck. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't go in here anymore. Hmm. Or we just didn't notice that chest before. I know it'll make it budge. Go for it, Mr. Chair. God damn it. I said, go for it, Mr. Chair. For fuck's sake. I say, go for it, Mr. Chair. God, you're useless. Oh, that way it's blocked off. Fuck. Well, I guess now I'm stuck here. Yeah, you get the fuck open. Hey, you fucker. Get the fuck open. Got your chair, you're useless. How much? I got a half lantern. There. Study. Wine 
the cellar. I only got the wine cellar key. Mementos. Nothing. Nothing. Fuck. Well, now how am I supposed to get out of here? The way I came in was fucking caved. Let me throw this fucking thing into the wall. Open, you bastard. Fucking open. God damn it. Door. You piece of shit. Bastard. The only way we can go. Yeah. Oh dear. When monsters started growling, I started running. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck up out of there, boy. Cellar now. Laboratory. Let's go on down to the wine cellar. Use a key on the door to unlock. Really? Can't automatically use keys. That's a bunch of stupid poop. I don't want to like that. Done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Teen Hinnan awaits. Grin, the toothless foreman. Oh, dearie me, Joshua. Part with the invisible monster. Ah, bright lights again. Where did the siren go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> Good. Very pertinent information that I needed to know. But also, fuck you. Sandy will slowly drain it. I know. Barrels! You sons of bitches! Dies are the easy to not lose your sanity when, uh, you know, there's not really a whole lot of light sources to go around. Picked up Cuprites. Or Cuprites. Cuprites? 
You gotta learn to coop right, boy. Oh, these fucking barrels in here. No one can trust their barrels. No one trusts their barrels. God fucking damn it. Another ginger box, yay. Garve Caprite. Don't know what I use Caprite for, but I'll just see that handy. Calamine. No, Calamine. Sorry, that looked stupid. The barrel was just like, yeah, hey, how you doing? And then I just got knocked out for some reason. That just looked silly. Ugh. Oh no, I'm going crazy again. Do I have any... Or can I just not like that? Preet and Calamine. So what do I do with those? I'm not really sure. Might have to play Haunting Round again to find out. It seems I'm barged in here again. Did the game bug out on me? Excuse me, what? What the fuck just happened? Hey, uh, what? I'm sorry. Are the boxes going through the door? Save an exit. Uh, continue. Continue. Hold the game didn't bug out on me. So, so that fucking suck. I mean, did I just end the stream or? No, 
Now the game's been borked. Maybe I have to go up here first? Okay. It seems like the game's a bit buggy. Either I did something I wasn't supposed to. Okay, well. What is happening? I don't know what the fuck he wants me to do. Do I have to move this? about it. I assume we have to use the boulder to break the fucking door, but... But they keep getting stuck in this one area. Let's go back a little further. Because I don't want to just end the stream here. Without anything happening. That would just be silly. Break back a little bit. Where did the pirate go? Who cares? He left us in a 
mind to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think there's much in the barrel room. So the caprice. How you doing, buddy? Okay. That is not dangerous at all. Oh, shit. Make sure to stay in the light and try to make progress. Fuck. Shouldn't have wasted that lot. Sort of cooking? I don't know. Oh dear, now we're all spindly findly. I don't like it when we're spindly findly. There's a bunch of bottles everywhere. Ah, oh, hell. Is there a thing of laudanum in here? Where's Markiplier called it laudanum, not a laudanum? Because I know that stuff's supposed to gain back your sanity. But for some reason, I only found the one. Jesus Christ, Daniel. Try to keep your shit together. Freeze up, please. Game. Come on. Fuck. Man. Good boy. I didn't get hit anything. Well, now the door is open this time. What the hell? Last time it wasn't open. 
Let's see, now we've got Calamine, Orpment, and Caprice. No idea what I use these things for, but I assume we have to get to the laboratory. Let's find that out. Make some sort of concoction. Like some sort of special ingredient. the implants, Doctor. My God! Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> well, Alexander's a fuckerhead. Who knew? Who knew that? Now you have Aqua Regia. Again, a lot of these things that don't know what the hell they do, but there's something. Can I light this up? No. Can I just do it over here? I can. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, <coughs> excuse me, I had a little burp there. <laughs> Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. <coughs> the baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during the time my time as a knight of my time as a knight of a soul <laughs> during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return he would attest to my character in the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many. Perhaps even a hundred. None of whom were ever seen from or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I was what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. Diabolic ways. Not diabolical ways. I don't know. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... Fuck. I can no longer fuck, man. I'm involuntarily celibate. So that should be everything we can get in here. I'm not really sure if much else we can do. Okay, well. That's all we got. Alrighty, well. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the street begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in the haze of gun smoke. Ow! Stop that. Freaks. Now we go to the laboratory. See what kind of stupid shit we got going on there. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The musk! The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. Ah, oh, hell, 
this looks like the wine cellar again. Why? Why, you oh why? Boards. Gotta pick up a rock. No, nothing. No, nothing. Hey, rice head. Fuck off. in the boxes. Lack of a chimney to properly bend the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Uh -huh. Four different chemicals I needed to continue. Okay. One. A two. A three. Okay, I need a jar of some sort. Or oil, that's fine. There's a jar. Yay. This is my third attempt to produce article artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orbpiment are given are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, instead of, in hope it will produce a more more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Well, I can find a use for it. Excuse me. Ooh, what is this? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They just for they lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. All right. I was gonna say the same thing. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, is there a Tinder box in this fucking thing? I believe there is. Thank you. I thank you, sir. 
Okay, so. Shit. Where is that? Then the oil. Fuck, okay, hold on. Let's turn off our lantern. There we are. Drop it down here. Let's just jump all the potions down. <laughs> Hopefully that did something. of acid. Yeah, the mental. Stairs are collapsed to find a way to climb back up. Oh, cool. Let's jump up like this. Shit. Ah. No. Well, fuck. Know how to get back up. Ah, wonderful. I knew those boards were gonna come in handy someday. You fucking bastards, you think you can fucking take me, huh? <laughs> he sat down by the Casbah while well, grassing for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand veiled ground. And then what? And then what did he do, Kabuki? Ow, stop it. That's, uh, I guess the only place we can go now is down below. Down into the... Into this crazy place. I believe we can use. Tough and pilot. Like a big down in the acid. Alchemist. It's the first achievement I've gotten so far. Through the shadows residue in the entrance hall. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibral Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of a cabin on SS Hortensia, headed for London. Something tells me you're not going to make it too well, buddy. What time is it even? It's almost one o'clock right now. God damn. 